Juan Guinzi. Cynthia Pavlovich incorporates Dinji Zhezhenjik in her everyday life as much as she can. But it wasn't always this way. An intergenerational residential school survivor, she grew up without her language and away from her traditional territory in the Beaufort Delta. But Pavlovich is determined. She meets with the Dinji Zhanjinjik speaker virtually five days a week, completing 200 hours of learning through the Northwest Territories Mentorship Apprenticeship Program. Well, I get to choose um, what kind of things that I want to learn, and then she just kind of helps me. So sometimes um, we're making labels for around the house. Um, sometimes we're translating poems. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes. I just ask her questions about what it was like to grow up up there, or what was the differences, or how would it be if we went for a walk. Stove, or oven. Stove, in it we roast. Itsi is the word for stove, in it we roast. Her so goal is to I become mean. fluent enough to pass yes. on the language to her three sons. Very interesting to see how they have different words for families, um, different words f um, like there's not a lot of negative, like there's no words for calling someone stupid. The program started in 2019 and has since nearly doubled from around 30 pairs of mentors and apprentices to nearly 60 this past year. Shauna Coleman works for the Territory's Language Department. She wants in on the program too. She is going to sign up to learn Chippewan. In there, I would say early adults that are interested in wanting to reclaim their languages and recognizing that maybe their family members are passing or their community members with the knowledge of language are passing. So they want to harness that and want to get that knowledge before that happens. So there's definitely that and we have folks that are, they call it sleeping language, they, so they're older. Um, folks that are like, yeah, it's there because I can understand an elder, I know what they're saying, but I don't know how to speak it. According to NWT 2021 Bureau of Statistics, most Indigenous language speakers are 45 years and older. All Boucher, Boucher it, you know, to um, Deschart, Dina it, you know, to um, Tapachan Naster. Paul Boucher is a traditional knowledge instructor and teaches Chippewan at the high school in Fort Smith. You know, 1.85% of the population of Fort Smith speak Chippewan. When I was here, when I came in 2015, there was a lot more people speaking the language. Right now, I could count maybe 25 people in addition to what's taught in the classroom, Boucher says more has to be done to use the language outside of the school in the community. Pavlovich can stay in the mentorship program up to three years. In seeing how it's been so healing and so rewarding, I really wish that it was something that was able to be shared with everybody and anybody. In the meantime, she's already planning to pass on her knowledge and began writing a book in the language for children back home in the Beaufort Delta. Charlotte Moritz Jacobs, APTN National News, Yellowknife.